My name is Staff Sergeant Brandy Milliken, and I've been a part of the Iowa Army National Guard for over nine years. Okay. All right, what's gonna get me deployed the most? How can I get over there? What can I do? He's like, you need to be a medic. That's what you need to be. You wanna get over there, you wanna be in the suck. He said, as a medic, you can go out with different units and different uh, companies, and, and you can be on foot patrol in the mountains, and you can do this and that. We're boots on the ground in October 2012, and uh, for the first for the first three months, it was for me. It was go go go. It was every mission. I was out on transport supply runs and helping out at the troop medical clinic every chance I got. And then six months into it, I broke my leg. Actually, on my birthday, I was in the in the German hospital there for a few days while they waited for a, I mean, I was just a, just a basic convenient uh, type, but I was absolutely done there. I couldn't help anybody. If I was hobbling around on crutches, it was a very rocky place and um, no place for somebody on crutches. For me, as a medic in Afghanistan was was both positively and negatively an adventure. It was an absolute roller coaster ride. And I loved every minute of it. Even even the worst, the worst times when when I couldn't save everybody. It was an experience and I can now use that experience. My name is Tom Zufa. I am a market sales manager for Bank of America right here in Iowa. We donated our 1,000 home in just over uh, two years and are continuing with our commitment right here today with Brandy. My name is Richard Mercado. I'm the housing director for the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. You're selfless, humble, outgoing, and a very giving individual. You are more than deserving of this home. I gotta say thank you because I really don't think that I would be able to own my own home. Maybe one day I could help pay it forward. So, VA rep, I just gotta say thank you so much. And I won't let you down. <laughs> Our proactive stance, providing financial literacy, education, and advocating home ownership may not end the epidemic of homelessness among the veteran community, but can prevent it from happening in the future, one veteran at a time.